It is almost harvest time for this canola crop located at Austin in Barron County in South Central Kentucky. The canola is in bloom with bright yellow flowers. And when we were there for the story, the seed pods were just beginning to develop. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Terry Workington is growing about 300 acres of the canola this year, a crop he grew up with in his native Canada. He first tried growing wheat here, but gave it up for the crop he felt more comfortable with. As time went on, the wheat, I have never really had the best luck with wheat uh, right here. I, it might be that I, I haven't learned what to do, but the canola is definitely a, definitely a little bit more of an advantage for, for profit for me. And of course, I had a lot of interest in it because of growing up in Manitoba. At 65, 70 bushel, I, I Visiting Workington at his farm was University of Kentucky Extension agronomist Kerry Knott who wants more information about growing canola in Kentucky, but sees a lot of potential for the crop. Canola is a really good option in terms of looking at an agronomic um, rotation to add more benefit, to diversify for certain producers. So I think it could help them in the long run to stay afloat. Not would like to get canola into a no-till system since Kentucky is a no-till state. Workington is raising canola in a no-till system and has been double cropping with corn. But this year is going to try planting canola following early season soybeans. He says having a place nearby to take his crop makes it easier and more profitable. Yeah, that's exciting. That's exciting because uh, we can haul it there and, you know, within a week or two we can get a check. Uh, and so that's pretty exciting. A lot more local. It will be good for beef cattle with the dairy. Brian Caldback is a consultant agronomist who is partnering with Workington. He says Kentucky farmers can grow some of the highest yields of canola in North America in the vicinity of 50 to 60 bushels per acre. So from a productivity standpoint, the Kentucky farmer really has an edge on, you know, on this crop uh, and on the way he can double crop beans after here you know, in North America. And then, of course, if the market is here locally, the, there's a huge demand for the oil and the meal here in this part of the country with all the livestock, all the poultry, all the consumers to consume the oil. So, you know, from a you know, fundamental business perspective, I mean, there's a lot of opportunity here. This is a 60% of the seed is a meal, 40% uh, is oil. The meal from the crushed canola seeds have primarily been used in poultry feed in Kentucky, but it is also good for dairy cattle and increasing milk production. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.